डी सुपर हीटर और अ टेम्परेटर दिस लेक्चर इज ए पार्ट ऑफ द सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स ऑन बॉयलर फंडामेंटल्स यर बॉयलर स्टीम टेम्परेचर कंट्रोल इज बींग डिस्कस्ड सुपर हीट ट्यूब्स हीट द स्टीम एंड रिमूव मॉइस्चर फ्रॉम द स्टीम द स्टीम इज कंट्रोल्ड टू द डिजायर्ड टेम्परेचर बाई कूलिंग द स्टीम विद स्प्रे वाटर दिस प्रोसेस इज रिफर्ड टू एज डी सुपर हीटिंग रिक्वेस्ट request it is hoped that this lecture is going to be useful to you please press like please subscribe the process of cooling steam with spray water is done in the de superheater or a temperator The location of the de superheater is shown in the next three diagrams. Here we can see the passage of the steam from the steam drum. From the steam drum, the steam is going to the primary superheater. then the steam is going to the d super heater in the d super heater spray spray water from feed water pump is being sprayed or injected then from d super heater the steam is going to the steam header here again we describe the passage of steam from the steam drum but in a slightly different way here we can see that the steam is going to the first stage superheater then the steam is going to the second stage superheater and in between we are having a a temperature spray nozzle and water for spray is coming from the boiler feed pump after the secondary super heater the steam is going to the steam outlet header here again we are describing the passage of steam to the turbine but here we have mentioned the instrumentation also so here we can see that the steam is going to the primary superheater then it goes to the a temperator where spray water is being controlled with the help of a temperature control valve and then the steam is going to the secondary superheater and ultimately to the turbine de superheating controls the temperature of the steam by spraying water into the steam line to reduce the superheated steam to the desired temperature de superheating can be accomplished by one two or three element control typical single element
सुपर हीट कंट्रोल सिंगल एलिमेंट स्टीम टेम्परेचर कंट्रोल इज द मिनिमम कंट्रोल स्ट्रेटेजी रिक्वायर्ड टू रेगुलेट द स्टीम टेम्परेचर लिविंग द बॉयलर सिंगल एलिमेंट कंट्रोल शुड ओनली बी यूज इन एप्लीकेशन विद स्लो लोड चेंजेस सच एज बिल्डिंग हीटिंग सिस्टम्स वे आर कॉन्स्टेंट स्टीम टेम्परेचर इज नॉट क्रिटिकल और वैन द स्टीम डिमांड हैज वेरी लिटिल वेरिएशन द फिगर शोन इज ऑफ ए टिपिकल सिंपल फीडबैक कंट्रोल सिंगल एलिमेंट कंट्रोल सिस्टम द फाइनल स्टीम टेम्परेचर इज मेजर एंड कंपेयर टू ए सेट पॉइंट द रिजल्ट इज यूज टू रेगुलेट द स्प्रे वाटर फ्लो द स्प्रे इंटरलॉक प्रिवेंट्स the water injection if the steam temperature is not adequate conclusion although the control strategies described here use conventional pid control techniques the use of advanced control strategies is not excluded the primary benefit of constant steam temperature is improving the economy of conversions to mechanical energy and reducing the amount of moisture in the steam excessive steam moisture will result in damage to the turbines constant temperature control allows for smaller tolerances of the mechanical equipment request it is hoped that this lecture is useful to you please press like please subscribe